Yo, it's your boy Ease back in effect, live without the BS. And I do mean without the BS because, shoot, all I hear right now is all of you content creators, all of you content creators is just spewing out BS. Now, I wish someone would leave a comment in the comment, se in the comment section that, that will tell me why you guys want to spill your biases on everyone else in the community. Diablo 4 is not broken. Diablo 4 patch is a season one patch. It's not an Eternals realm patch. If you're trying to use the builds that you already have and trying to get these new mechanics to work on your old builds that you already have, no, they're not going to work. You know why? Because it's a season one patch. Did, did you guys read the patch notes? Because it says on the very top, season one update season one patch notes it didn't say internal realms patch notes i mean are you guys actually reading these patch notes or are you guys just skimming through the patch notes looking for what you want because you're biased to the game and you're biased to what you want and you're not actually reading and getting through your brain what you want but you would think it would get through your brain because you guys are pc gamers you know super detailed and you know and all number crunching and data mining and all that bullshit you guys love that shit but all you do is miss so many details you guys miss the PC community always miss so many details that's why y'all the first to fucking bitch you know why y'all bitching cause y'all the first to miss details this patch is for season one. Your old builds that you have, that list of like two, three, five builds that you have at level 100 will not work with this new patch. It was not meant for those builds. This patch is meant for season one characters. This patch works perfectly right now, even for your Eternal Realms character. If you decide to right now at this very moment or yesterday when the patch came out and decided to make a level one character and level it up like I did, you will not feel any different. The patches will not affect you and you'll be playing the game smooth right on through. My bar build was nerfed. They took away my bleed stacks. And I was getting crazy amount of damage. It was going crazy. My no core, no shouts, no ultimates, bleed build. Perfect. Someone found out about it, which I know, I'm pretty sure I know now, after a little research, I know who, 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 who leaked my build. But after that, I decided to make a whole new build besides bitch about it like all these little YouTube creators are doing you know with the little smiley you know the little sad faces on, on their on their pins and you know thumbnails and everything all little crying faces why 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 grow the fuck up you little bitch stop complaining if you wanted to see how this new patch works guys make a level one character and level it all the way up then you'll know how this season one patch works because in season one guess what you're going to be level one it is obvious to an actual real gamer like myself to understand that but it seems like you have a whole bunch of content creators who are not understanding that and a lot of these guys are supposedly on top of their game but there's the, those are the guys who have the most clout and people supposedly follow these guys who give out the worst information but for some reason you guys follow them like there's some end all be all they they keep telling people oh look reddit has all these complaints all those complaints aren't the definite complaints for everybody oh it's unanimous the game is bad because reddit said so those posts on reddit is a one percent of the whole community that is not a definite for everybody 
there is no one that I know and there's no one in my clan and there's no one in my friend's clan that has any issues with this patch so where are you talking about everybody who is this everybody you mean you not everybody you mean you so stop telling lies to your subscribers to your to everybody period why tell people lies and I'm t it's, it's just crazy why someone like me who tells the truth aka who doesn't bullshit people get pushed down in the algorithms of YouTube and the people who lie gets pushed to the top and I don't got time to lie to people I will always tell you guys the truth like I told the truth about damage buckets I told so much truth about the damage buckets somebody out there probably one of you content creators got my fucking shit shadow banned I was so right on the money about damage buckets that shit got shadow banned ain't that crazy that was one of my highest viewed videos I ever had and I'm new I got into this because one of my friends I used to work with back on Fable I mean not Fable, Far Cry 3 when I used to work on that game he was like yo why don't you just go do YouTube videos I was like hey I'm bored why not so when I started doing YouTube videos I decided to do it I told myself I'm never gonna bullshit anybody who watches my video but for some reason all you guys care about is the lies why please leave a comment at the bottom of the of, in the comment section to tell me what makes it so enjoyable or so interesting to believe a lie over the truth what makes it so much fun to believe that your biases overshadows anything that doesn't make any sense to me you don't need oh look at that I, I'm just I'm just not understanding it really blows my mind it's like you have all these guys who claiming that they're older who claiming they're in their 30s they're claiming they're in their 40s but they're acting like they're 12 and they're acting like they're four you know it's like you you're supposed to be PC players you guys are supposed to have this you know this technological big ass machine you're supposed to be data mining number crunching beast that you guys are but you you guys are the dumbest motherfuckers I ever known in my life you guys beg and beg and whine and cry over every little thing and every game that I ever seen you guys play no matter what game it is no matter what y'all miss more details in any game I have in every game that's ever been made you want something the companies give it to you and then you miss details because you're too busy looking for what you want in those in those details besides reading everything and thinking before you speak like right now I got a list that keeps showing up on my goddamn channel I'm on, on my goddamn YouTube I'm I, I don't like I don't want to unsubscribe through a lot of these people because some of these people do have a lot of good points on some of the things they say they trying to be honest to their to their viewers but you can clearly see that they're biased and you can clearly see that some of them are just plain followers and you can definitely clearly see that some of them are just there for the money now me myself I am not here to say hey don't forget to like and subscribe I don't give a fuck if you do all I want from you guys is to listen and to get the shit clear stop believing in the bullshit you are here on my channel to get the truth 
again I have more experience in the biz than anybody that you probably ran into on YouTube so far but again nobody wants to hear anybody who knows what they're doing they want to hear people who just have biases towards the game I don't I don't give a damn this game is successful or not all I know is I'm going to have fun with this game personally and but if you want to have fun with this game what you need to do is be direct what you want to do with the game for example there's five things that you need to go over and that's what every single game that's been in existence is the beginning if you want something changed in the game you have to go over five categories if you don't know what those five categories are go look at my last video I go over how the five categories work once you reach those five categories if your question does not meet all five categories the devs and the company will not give a damn about your changes and then you go back to your crying and bitching again and that's what's happening all you're doing is rewording the same question over and over and over again that's why they said we hear you we hear you we hear you another way of saying stop bitching stop bitching stop bitching at the campfire they did so please if you have a really good reason on why you want to complain every single time something gets changed in the game please leave a, a comment in the bottom that's all I ask for from you that's it if you want to see if the game feels good make a level one character now before the game starts before season one officially starts and I will guarantee you you won't notice any patches and the game will feel just fine because I did it and I was just fine I actually made an improvement on my barb my barb got nerfed I was stacking bleed they found out about it apparently <laughs> and they nerfed it which sucks ass because I was killing people because I have no core no shouts because shouts are for girls I'm not going to be wah, wah, rally cry who needs help I'm a barbarian challenging I am a challenge in the words of Vegeta I am the hype war cry what who needs a war cry you are a barbarian walk up to them and whip they ass there's no need for any of those three shouts they're a waste of your time yo my barb right now I can one shot bosses and people were like well I don't know if you can do that you know because what the patch says you know that de death blow is good but we're gonna have to do a, some a whole bunch of testing for it well guess what why wait I tested it yesterday you know why because I wasn't hung up on my level 100 character that I have I wasn't stuck on these characters that you're so used to if you love the game make another character if you're so in love with your if you love your build so much start over I'm telling you make a level one and move up I made a level one barb I did the same thing no core no ultimates no shouts I use death blow I can one shot fucking bosses I use death blow to level up all the way through the campaign I could one shot bosses all the way through the campaign and hell to uh, and hell two and hell three finally got to hell three it takes me two to three shots a boss in hell three and when I finally get some better gear I could probably one shot the hell three bosses I mean and I don't use any of that core shit none of that ultimate stuff anything in the game is possible it's just if you stop the bitching you can get shit done again season one patch not a eternal realms patch but for some reason you guys didn't read the headline of the patch you guys didn't listen to the campfire you know the, the campfire uh, thing 
whatever you want to call it. You didn't listen to it. You just wanted to hear certain things like, wait a minute, is he going to say anything about my necro? Is he going to say, no, no necro, no necro, no necro? That's all you were listening for. You weren't listening to every single word. You need to hear everything they say. Because sometimes they say stuff that's just fluff. And sometimes they say actual things that's going to be in the game. But a lot of you don't do that. And then you get onto these YouTube channels and you're a content creator and only spit out the things that you are picky with. If I'm going to spit out something like that, I'm going to tell you every single detail that I can find. Especially the fluff. I'm going to tell you the bullshit first and then I'm going to get to the good stuff. But on my, on my last videos that I talked about the good and the bad things, a lot of you missed it. Because the video I guess is too long. A lot of you only like to find the first three or four minutes of it and then you go, eh, I see it. And then y'all leave it alone. But if y'all watch the whole damn video, all the good shit's in the video. But again, y'all don't want to hear the, 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 the important stuff. Y'all don't want to hear it. It's crazy. I don't understand why you people do that. And it's mostly PC players. What is the hell is wrong with you? You get all this technology, you think ray tracing is going to save your life when nothing and no one cares. No one cares. You're, you're 60 frames per second and you're better graphics. Trust me, no one gives a damn about better graphics these days. It's all about gameplay. If the gameplay doesn't work, no one gives a damn about the graphics. Your computer graphics card is useless these days. It's gameplay first graphics second there is so much hate going on for every single game out there right now that it doesn't make any sense it doesn't cyberpunk hate mail battlefield hate mail call of duty hate mail nba 2k all of them no matter what what year it is hate mail but when there is a good comment, like if I post it, if I go in there right now and post, oh man, I love this game. I guarantee you, under that comment, there will be a whole bunch of hate posts because I made a good observation of the game. I've done it before on other games. I post something good. Only thing I got in return was some hate on why do you do that? I don't believe you. Blah, 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 blah. It, why do you PC players got to do that to people? Again, everything that you like, there's always an opposite. There's always a yin and yang. And companies know that. Blizzard, Activision, uh, pfft, EA, doesn't matter. Any company, pick it. They know it's a yin and yang. They know, but you guys don't get it. Not just PC players, the younger console players don't get it either. A lot of console players just want good gameplay. PC players want everything. Gameplay, graphics, uh, frame skipping, ray tracing, uh, frames per second. Y'all want everything. That, I don't know why, but like I said, y'all, picky as a motherfucker. I haven't found one person on YouTube who got the balls to, to tell me why they feel that way. I posted something on every single YouTuber's channel, and not one person have replied back with an honest answer. I'm sorry. Two people have replied to me with an honest answer. Two. And you know how many people are, re are doing uh, Diablo 4 videos? And none of them can reply? Not even a thumbs up or a little heart to say, okay, I read it. You don't, I mean, not, not even a, a thumbs up or a, a, a reply that says, okay, nothing. Nothing. I get replies from other people saying I don't believe you or or I don't like that because but never from the person I'm trying to talk to never from the actual content creator why 
is because they have their biases and have no honest answer. None. When I did that video about damage buckets and I broke that theory straight out the water, all of a sudden I had that was my highest view video that I ever had next to the Path of Exile video I did. As soon as I did that, all of a sudden that video got shadow banned. It was just banned out the blue. Why? Which one of y'all PC players did that? What, you, you found out I was right and you got mad? Because your videos were blowing up about damage buckets and I told y'all y'all was fucking up and wrong. So y'all got mad at me and got my video banned? Is that how it works? My videos are to tell you guys the truth on every game. About every company and about every game. And for some reason, only the liars get heard. The truth tellers don't get heard. And that needs to stop. You guys need to spread the word that look, this needs to stop. You guys can't be going around here bullshitting people. Reddit is a bunch of liars. If you see a list of people that are hating the game on Reddit, remember that's only 1% of the mass community. 1% of the mass community. But again, no one would tell you that but me. Why? It's because they want you to follow along like a lost dog. Are you a lost dog? I'm talking to you as, as a viewer. Are you a lost dog? Or are you a grown ass man or a grown ass woman? Again, leave a comment in the section at the bottom. Are you? Are you a follower? Are you a leader? Because so far, all I see is a bunch of followers. And it's crazy to me. Because these companies know how many followers they have uh, us, us out there. They know this. And they milking you guys like a fucking, like cows, like bad, like nasty cows. And they know this. And you guys are just falling for the trap. And I try to keep you guys away from these traps. But again, people who tell the truth get pushed way down the bottom on the algorithms. And I'm, I'm trying my best to keep you guys away from all this bullshit. And I wish I could help you guys more, but there's too many people with bias takes. Way too many people with bias takes in this game. Or any game. Not just this game. Any game. Sad to see, y'all. It's real sad to see. I'm not. I don't really care about this game right now. I just want to get this video out to you guys. This is a season one patch. If you want to see if the patch is good or worth it, make a whole new character, and you will notice the difference. I'm telling you, every build is still viable. And still good to go. If your build is not working for you, it's because you're using the wrong build. You're trying to use a fake meta because there are no metas in this game. Just people trying to get you to follow them. That's all it is. There is no real meta. You want a meta? Make your build. Because <clears throat> if there was a meta, guess what? My barbarian, my no core. No, my no core barbarian is a meta. If you want to make metas, my barbarian is a meta. You know what else is a meta? This druid right here is a meta. You know what I'm saying? Like, like any build you make is a meta. You know why is a meta? Because I said so. That's what it is. You can't be walking around saying, oh, this build is meta. How? Who told you? Any build is meta when you decide to be meta. Who cares? Who cares? Any, I, I can say it's meta because I said so. You can't make a meta build because you decided. It doesn't work that way. 
I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, again, that's a PC thing. You guys got it stuck in your head. That that's how things work. You know? That's just how things work when it doesn't work that way. Games don't work that way. Games work if you you if you force a game to work that way, then okay. That's that's your choice. You force the game to work that way. Then that will be a meta, right? If you force it to work that way. Like a lot of POE players would go, well, use these as your, you know, season starter builds. That's a force meta. You don't have to play those to get the game started. You can start any way you want to and be fine. I don't follow, like I said, I never follow anybody's builds because I'm smart enough to do my own. I'm smart enough to sit there and just move points around and figure out, okay, this doesn't work and that doesn't work. Let's make it work. Again, my barb can one-shot enemies now with the death blow. People were talking about when the patch was being when I first reading the patch, I read the whole patch notes twice. And I was like, okay, I can use the new charge, I can use the new death blow, and I can make a hybrid I can make a hybrid um, druid barb. I didn't find the new aspects for the charge, but I found out that you can make the death blow one hit kill. How to do it, I'm never going to tell you. You just figure it out. Because that's how it's supposed to work. Work on it, boys and girls. Work on it. But this has to stop. You can't let these one percenters let you know that this is how life works on these and, and, and these gaming companies and how life works, period. In the gaming universe and definitely in the sports universe. They're not going to write good things out there because once you do, people are going to write hate right behind it. So there's no point to put in a good comment. I've tried so many times. It doesn't work. It's a waste of my breath. It's a waste of my typing to have just write something good thinking someone else would write something good right behind me. No, just a whole bunch of haters. You know, a bunch of emotes, emo, and what you guys call yourselves now, woke motherfuckers. I don't know why y'all call yourselves that. Because how can you be... You're already awake. So, what do you mean? Sleepy? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's y'all kid words. That's, the kids say that. I'm not a kid. But, uh, it's just... Just stop it. Grow the fuck up. If you don't know how to use the Paragon board, you can always leave a comment at the bottom of my page and I will get to you and let you know. Unlike other content creators, I answer every question. They won't answer me, but I will always answer you guys. If you have any questions about how you use any of these builds, if you have any questions about how any numbers work in this game, I will love to teach you guys. Just don't ask me how to one-shot things with my build, because like I said before in all my other videos, I do not give out my builds personal reasons exploits and all hint hint but I don't do that but if you need help on your build to improve it oh most definitely just let me know what you need improvements on I will help you just don't ask me how my build works that's all I ask but I would gladly help you on yours but the only way that's going to happen if you get over yourself and understand that there's more than just what you want there's always an opposite of what you want yin and yang what you want there's someone opposite always stop the hate I don't want to see any more thumbnails on my fucking phone no more thumbnails on my fucking TV or on my fucking computer of you guys looking grown ass men looking sad saying oh this is dead this is a bad game. Oh, this patch broke my game. I don't want to... Please, I know you like doing it because, well, I guess it's bringing in traffic for you. The only reason why I clicked on it so I could type in the bottom why you feel this way so you can reply to me, but you never do. 
none of you trust me I reply to all of you and not one of you ever reply back I even send you links to my other YouTube videos and I have not seen those videos views go up so I'm assuming you just delete my thing and keep it rolling because again a lot of you PC players don't like to hear the truth why the PC community feels this way I don't know but please if you are a PC gamer I would like to know why you feel this way why your bias is so thick on a lot of these titles on a lot of games why these these things happen to only you because there's nobody on the Xbox that I know having any issues with this there's nobody on the PlayStation is having any issues with this It's only you PC folks is having issues with it so either your computer can't keep up with the patch or your brain can't keep up with the patch that's the only two options I could think of that's the only thing I could think of and I'm leaning towards your brain don't work that's the only thing I'm leaning towards until someone can prove me otherwise I think some of you PC guys brains are just broken and you just can't figure out the obvious but again I can teach all you guys the easiest tricks on common sense come on y'all it's not that hard grow up is step number one and step number two stop spreading lies no one feels the way you do only you feel the way you do and maybe that one percent of people that you read on reddit and you assuming everyone else does because you read about those 20 reddit users remember whoever you read on reddit is only one percent because you got a million copies out there and only 20 tweets or 20 reddit posts millions of people 20 posts does not make up for the whole community and if you got a whole bunch of retweets you remember you guys love bots you guys love y'all hacking and fucking what data mining and cheats and shit you guys love adding extra shit in there to make yourself look more popular than you are you know that too come on PC people you guys like to forge numbers just like um the video game awards they had tried to put bots in in place to stop you PC players from over voting think about it because they know you guys like to cheat on things you guys like to do this hacking thing but you don't think at the same time what is wrong with you people again leave a comment in the bottom I would like to know make me a part of this thing I would like to know because so far it just makes me not want to buy a gaming computer because going into your guys's world just makes me want to shoot you or something <laughs> it just makes me want to slap every person with a PC except the people in my clan and then some other people that I know back when I was working on Bioshock back when I was working on Bioshock right I was the only person that was on council and at first at first I was the only person who owned a council everybody else was mostly PC who even though this was mostly a uh, a council game most of the people that I worked with had a PC background and even they had a hard time trying to understand the the council's brain like how we think towards games we don't care about a lot of things on council we just care about the goddamn gameplay does it work good let's go but your PC players are super picky and that's where the problem comes in you ain't gonna catch a whole bunch of people yelling and screaming and with some sad faces all over the goddamn YouTube only the PC players are gonna be doing that bullshit unless you're 2k but the reason why you'll see people sad on 2k is because 2k is a pay to win game so I can understand why they're they're sad because they're losing money as they're buying the game 
So they got a right to be sad because they're losing more money than normal. Cause it's almost two hundred dollars to build one character. Just to build one basketball character. Here you ain't gotta worry about that. But you're still crying. Like little bitches. Stop. Relax. Follow me. Literally. My name is Ease Up. Means relax. Do it. Again, you don't have to like. You don't have to subscribe. I mean, a like will be nice. But you don't have to subscribe. Just listen to more truth than to follow these motherfuckers' lies. That's all I ask for. If you don't want to listen to... Find somebody else then who's telling the truth to you. Because so far, all I see is a bunch of liars following each other because that person got a whole bunch of views, so he must be lying. So let me follow him. This guy got a bunch of views, so he must be lying, so I must follow him. It's not that he's telling the truth. It's just more lies because his biases are the same as your biases, so you want to follow him. Don't follow bias. Follow what you feel. Please. All right, y'all. It's your boy, Ease. Back in effect, live without the BS. And I do mean without the BS. Peace.